Hello, this is how I repaired a NAD NAD502 Hi-Fi CD player. Now, this repair can work on other CD players and Hi-Fi equipment that will have a display like this. Now, when this came to me, it was missing its two halogen lights for look-back illumination. So I decided to uh, repair it and couldn't find any halogen bulbs for this because it was a specific voltage. So what I decided to do was convert it to LED. Now, there's three holes here, uh, which uh, are used for the heating, uh, to you know, the uh, heat sink cooling effect. So what I decided to do is drill the two outer ones out of it to put the LEDs in. One will do, one will light it perfectly, but I thought I'll add a second one for redundancy. And then, uh, instead of doing what normal people would use of using a big power resistor, I decided to use a linear regulator. And I pulled this from a Sky Plus box, and it was a variable linear regulator. So what I did was, I it was originally set for 5 volts, but I changed it to 3 volts. Now, if you don't uh, want to cannibalize a Sky Plus box, uh, any adjustable linear regulator will do with a voltage divider, or you can simply put a 7805 linear regulator in, sorry, 03 regulator in, that will convert it from whatever voltage to 3 volts. And the source, the wires from the source here, uh, are 5 volts, and that's where I got my 5 volt line from and if you were going to repair this yourself uh, if you use the J524 jumper there which is powered off by this uh, capacitor and J140 which is the negative it will then be 5 volts converted to 3 volts to power the LED